Hi YouTube, welcome to your car care companion. This video is about the car's cooling system. As you can see, the cooling system consists of uh, several parts. Generally, it starts consists of the air that moves over the radiator, the cooling fan, the radiator fan that actually blows air over the radiator, the radiator itself, thermostat and temperature gauge, the water pump, the water jacket, that goes around the engine block, the actual coolant itself, and there's also a heater core not shown here that we'll talk about a little bit later that isn't really directly a part of the cooling system but can be used um, to extend the cooling system in a pinch. Okay, the radiator, the air, and the fan. The radiator is where the heat from the engine that has been passed on to the coolant is rejected to the atmosphere. So here's how it circulates. It goes into the radiator on the top here and circulates down, down, down as the air blows across it either with the car being driven and the air is moving or if the car is stationary uh, the, the fan will turn and it will pull air across the radiator. Once this coolant has gone all the way through the radiator and is cool, the water pump, as we discussed earlier, We'll pump it back around the engine to cool the engine again. Now, we discussed earlier, or mentioned earlier, that we would talk about the heater core, which is not really a part of the cooling system, but can be used to extend the cooling system in a pinch. If your engine starts to overheat, you can turn on your heater. And your heater core is basically a tiny little radiator. If you look at it, it looks just like the radiator, and it's made just like the radiator. And there's a blower that blows air across it to take heat off of this little heater core. Well, that heat is ejected into the compartment of the vehicle to cool you, the human occupant. But if your car starts to overheat and you need to drive to a safe place, you can turn your heater on full blast and add additional cooling capacity to your cooling system by turning on your heater. So first up on our list of cooling components is the thermostat. The thermostat's job is to regulate and maintain the correct operating temperature of the engine by allowing a certain amount of uh, coolant to circulate around the engine given the temperature. And the way it does that is there's a little bit of wax inside this little container here. And as the engine heats up, it will open just like this. The wax will squeeze this little pin and push this valve open, allowing coolant to flow as much as is necessary to maintain the temperature dictated by this wax. And that's set by the manufacturer of the engine. It also will close this valve as necessary uh, as the engine gets cooler. So if it gets hotter, it opens. As it gets cooler, it closes. How does it get cooler? The coolant cools it. So that is how the thermostat works to maintain the temperature of the engine. Next up is the water pump. The water pump, which is named uh, kind of incorrectly because it's not really pumping water necessarily, it's actually pumping coolant, which is either antifreeze or an antifreeze water mix. But the water pump circulates the coolant throughout the engine, through all the hoses and pipes, back and forth between the engine and the radiator. And it is turned by a serpentine belt as depicted here in this box. This is there, you can't really see it, but there's a pulley here, and behind that is a water pump. And this is a serpentine belt that turns that pump to pump the coolant. And this is what a typical water pump looks like. It has an impeller that actually moves the water on the back side uh, that's facing the engine. And then on the front side, there is a plate that this serpentine belt, uh, this pulley, is bolted to. You can see these little screw holes here, and you see these bolts here. Well, this pulley bolts on right here, and that's what you see cupped here, so you can't really see it. So I pulled out the pump here so you can see the pump, and this is the pump with the pulley on it. 
Next up is the Water Jacket and Coolant Flow. The Water Jacket is a series of ports and holes that go through the engine block and the cylinder head. You notice here all these little ports and these little passageways is how the coolant flows throughout the engine to remove the heat to keep the engine from overheating. Um, the way that this coolant flows through here is basically two ways. One, the thermostat opens and allows the, fluid, the uh, cooling fluid to flow and the water pump pumps it and that's how it goes through the engine, through the hoses, to the radiator, dumps the heat out, and then back to the water jacket in the head and the engine block.